or go home and smoke some more crack. <laughs> I love that the episode itself didn't start the way I thought it would. The way I thought it would be, with the main team not being that key into Axel being their overseer. But actually, it started out as the perfect setup to the main plot of the episode, with Ishita not being good at darts, so she creates a dart monster that punishes people in the stupidest way possible. And oh yeah, Axel wants to become a boom boonger because he wants to be a cool superhero and Tyre rejects him, which is a nice change of pace specifically with Meter, which I didn't believe would happen, being actually way more welcoming towards a new member. It seems that my theory is semi-correct that he just saw Mir as some sort of an obstacle between his relationship with Tyre, but now they maybe got on off screen, so uh, yeah, that's great. But I did really enjoy seeing Tyre not being gone ho about everybody joining the team. How much kind of feels odd, mainly because he was like totally fine and just like threw a fucking boon boon changer to Mir, like a person that he didn't know anything about. So that's kind of interesting. And pretty much everything surrounding this episode was pretty much about Axel understanding about being a superhero is not about being cool, but about saving people, which if you really think about it, should be a thing that he already knows because he is a police officer. But maybe with him becoming a boon boonger, he would get power, so he thinks that he needs to be cool. But the thing that makes a person cool is themselves. Don't fucking think that you need to change yourself to become cool. You are already cool. But if you really think about it, Mir is like the least coolest person on the team, so I don't know why the fuck he thought that he needs to be cool. How much the way that she holds her circle arms does make her look really tough, but he got really cool moments to look like a hero and cool with him standing up and fighting the monster when the Boon Boongers didn't arrive, specifically saving the three people that were punished and then saving the Boon Boonger from their punishment slash reward for Tyre, which was a, 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 the fucking electric chair. That's a weird fucking reward, but hey, to each to his own. Was really cool, and like the moment that he actually got to transform was really cool. And now, and with that, we got a fight with all four members, which at the time of me writing the video, eh, I kind of proclaimed how cool it is because they played the second verse, but the second verse is out. Like the entire fucking theme song is out. So it's not that special anymore. But it was really cool to hear. I just love it. Like the entire fight scene was cool. The fucking multiple police cars coming out from the like chase scene. It was cool. Even the fight scene was cool. He got to do the Deca Ranger fin. And now the ISL actually has a boon boon changer that they can actually study. And probably going to be the lead up to uh, some sort of a recoloring of uh, boon uh, black and uh, orange's transformation device which would bring us boon uh, purple has been uh, very much publicly said to be the quote-unquote six ranger which would be cool if it would be the agent I, I think that it would be cool i don't believe that boon purple uh, would be the six i think it's going to be kind of like stay caesar because if you really think about it stay caesar came in way before two kaiser they're not actually listed as the six they're listed as the extra ranger so it's very much going to be like a stay caesar which is kind of funny that we got another purple as the quote-unquote extra ranger pretty much like almost in like a three year kind of like difference because like john murusame was also a fin so yeah overall how much this episode was kind of generic being a person that is trying to get into the sentai team with them showing their worth it is very generic 
It is something that Sentai does more than what you actually expect, but it worked because Axel appeared a lot more often and he got to interact with the Boon Boongers and then the team of like duty. So you can clearly see there is great interaction and Axel as a character is fun. How much? Again, why the fuck you think that being a Boon Boonger needs to be your cool? I don't know. It's weird. It just worked. Because if you think about it, Axel is a fucking dork. And I love it. And it's a great lesson to the kids, telling them that everybody can be a hero and you just need to do the right thing. So overall, this episode gets a B. It was a fine episode. It wasn't bad. But uh, yeah, overall, like the first quote-unquote arc of the show gets an A. This is a very strong open to this show. And I'm actually hyped to see what the fuck is going up next because we still don't know a lot about Tyre what the fuck his deal with him being rich his relationship with Bundarius Bunderas fucking his entire relationship with Break like that's a character we don't know jack shit about the only thing we know that he already has a transformation device he has two of them so that's going to be interesting so uh, yeah and also Boon Black suits is probably my favorite it's just really cool. It just works a lot better than the rest of the team. The gold stripe does really help. So yeah, what you found about uh, Boon Boon Jar episode 5? Comment below, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you liked it even more, hey, hop on to my channel. I, I'm working on a lot of shit. I tell you the truth, I'm trying to juggle like 6 videos. I don't know why. Luckily, I actually didn't even started watching Garo. Fuck, if I would weekly review Garo, that would have been a problem for this channel. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye! <laughs>